And now, your hosts, Mike Jarek and Juliet Huddy. Listen to this. According to a new national survey, folks in Houston, Texas are paying the most for their utilities. $332 per month, $332 per month. Dallas, Baltimore, Phoenix, and Las Vegas round out the top five, but it's the same all over the country. The rising price of electricity, gas, and groceries has families everywhere trying to cut costs, but for people like our next guest, that's easier said than done. Dan and I have two kids. Times have gotten tough for Shannon and Dan Stewart. Dan is a commercial real estate broker, and yeah, southeastern Michigan's economy is less than desirable right now. Well, I've got a small jewelry design business that I run out of my home. These days, they are struggling. Dan had a deal he'd been working on for years, and they decided to bail out of that deal. And everyday family expenditures are skyrocketing. Grocery costs are going up, everybody's talking about it. Gas um, it just hit $4 a gallon in our area. I looked at all of our insurance bills, and yeah, they've gone up too. The stewards need help to cut costs. I'm hoping to learn some tips today that'll help us save money and funnel down to the bottom line of our budget. Please welcome Shannon Stewart. Shannon, good to have you here. Also joining us, CEO of Buttoned Up Incorporated, organizational expert Alicia Rockmore, and from the website whitefence.com, Jeff Wagner. We gotta help Shannon out. Yeah. Why don't we start with groceries? Oh my goodness. Incredibly important. Everybody notices that their grocery bill is skyrocketing. And there's tricks that you can do that will save you a ton of money. And my favorite one, mm -hmm. here's my favorite one. You go and it says a sale, 10 cans for $10. So automatically, what do you think? You gotta buy 10? You yeah. usually don't. 99% of the time you can buy one and get the same off as if you bought the whole lot. And a reminder that she has a couple of children she's trying to feed here. Absolutely. So watch out for those sales tricks. Absolutely. Now you talk about something called the 80-20 formula. What yep. is it? What's the 80? Buttoned Up has a formula it's called the 80-20 rule and it's about focusing on the most important stuff first. So you go to the grocery store, it's perfect. You've got a budget. 80% mm -hmm. of that budget should be spent on staples. The dinner items, the lunch items, oh. the breakfast items. 20%, because you still want to have fun, is what you save for the snacks and the ice cream the Twinkies, and the fun stuff. Yeah, the ding kids dongs, stuff. Yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. So basically, I guess the third tip would be just buy the basic foods then. Buy the basic foods. My favorite one, because I do this all the time, buy a whole chicken, cut it up instead of buying chicken breasts and save a fortune. Really? Yeah, because okay. you're doing the work. Price at the pump, through the roof. Oh my God, I live in California. Oh, and I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, I know it's a great place to live, but boy, a lot of driving. Oh my goodness. A lot of driving. There is a great thing you can do that takes 30 seconds, which is as simple as when you're going out to run errands, most people do it once yeah. a week, make a list of what you're doing, and do it in order. Oh, so you don't, you're not wandering around the neighborhood. Exactly, you're not your going car. back and forth and back and forth and wasting money. Yeah. And gasbuddy.com. Have you heard I, about this website, folks? I Gas, love this. Say it again, gasbuddy.com. Works across the country, put your zip code in, find the cheapest gas. And I will tell you, in California, Man. yeah, it's great. Now, I, I raised two daughters, and I'll tell you where we'd slip up on the budget. We'd go buy Toys R Us, or we'd go buy a toy store, <laughs> and I'd cave in. Can you save money on toys? You can save money on toys with sales, but the greatest thing is to swap toys out with somebody else. You can do it with a friend or neighbor, or you can go to a site called Toy Swap. Dot com. Ooh, I don't want somebody's dirty toys. You know what? They're <laughs> being gummed on by other kids. First of all, it's rare that that happens. Okay. And second of all, a little Lysol and you're fine saves you a fortune. I mean, Shannon talked about having two young kids. Mm -hmm. Every six months, they grow out of toys. Think about if you could swap with somebody else every six months. You know what? That's a good idea. That's a very good idea. Shannon, would you do that? Yeah, I agree. Absolutely. Okay. Here's a cool one before we go to White Fence. You can say, how much money can you save if you don't use stamps? Okay, well, first of all, the price of stamps just went up yep. again, 41 to 42 cents. $100 if you pay your bills electronically, and well over $150 if instead of sending those paper cards that cost $2 oh, like or birthday $3, cards? birthday cards, anniversary cards, you send e-greetings. Easy, simple, save on money. That's a good tip. The U.S. Postal Service is now pulling their hair out at this show, but that's fine. <laughs> uh, Jeff, let's get over to you. Whitefence.com. It's been around a few years, but I'm just first learning about it. Explain what it is. Sure. Whitefence.com is a one-stop shopping marketplace for all your home services. So phone, internet, satellite, cable, electricity, gas, newspaper, etc. Really simple to use. You just go onto the site, type in your address, and all the services available at your home will show up on the screen. Okay, you put in the address, zip code, and brrr, on the screen. I didn't know that you could comparison shop 
for utilities? Exactly. You know, you've got two different situations there. One is when you go online, you put in your address and shop. So the analogy I use all the time is you think about 10 years ago when the travel comparison sites came on the scene. Yeah. You were able to go and look at all of the flights in one in one shot. Like you were orbits or travelocity and all that. Exactly. We do the same thing for phone and internet, cable, satellite, etc. And now you can find all those online. There's also the ability in utilities with deregulated and regulated mm -hmm. markets. Very confusing space. But if you're in a deregulated market, the opportunity for savings are tremendous. Yeah, Shannon, have you ever heard of White Fence? No, not till today. Isn't that good? Oh, absolutely. Do you think you have different internet suppliers and cable companies in your area? You know, I'm not sure, but I bet I could find out if I go whitefence.com. That would be to whitefence.com. Nicely said, uh, Jeff said. <laughs> Shannon. <laughs> Shannon, thanks for being so honest about your uh, situation. You're We're all in it. And thank you both very much. Great, for more information you. on the websites mentioned in this segment, go to our website, mnjshow.com.